We're going to be looking at how you punctuate speech. And we are going to use macaroni as inverted commas. commas to tell us which part of the sentence was actually said by the person talking. He didn't say, can't I sit on a mat, ask the frog. He just said, can't I sit on a mat. Put the inverted commas behind the punctuation. Well done. Okay, it doesn't work if you put them there because the question mark is still part of what the frog in this case said. You use a comma to show that the person has stopped talking. So in goats sit on coats, you would put a comma there to show that the person has stopped talking but that it's not the end of the sentence. But why do we not need a comma there? Because there's a question mark there. That... So I'm getting the girls to type up their writing from yesterday so that they can put the correct speech punctuation in. I think it's easier to do it on the computer because it means then that they can easily make changes. Okay, so Ophelia's typing it all up and putting in the correct punctuation.